Hey guys, Nenad here. I'm back with another Neville Goddard video and in this video we're gonna look at the art and the science of feeling it real. Recently I released the five-step process of how to feel it real to manifest, create and achieve whatever it is you want to create in your life. And in this video what I really want to do is I want to go into the science of why this process works. Because what I notice from talking to a lot of people from experience and coaching so many people is that people don't often commit enough to these kind of tools. Either they look for one thing, they try it and then they go to the next thing, so they kind of dabble in between things, or they do it, it doesn't work and they give up, or they do it, they win and then they forget about it. So there's this whole thing and Neville warned us about this, to not just be hero of the words, but to be doers. And it's my true opinion that this process, that it's called feeling it real, works. And we're going to understand today why it works, so that you really get the importance that this is your power, your creative power, that can really transform your life in ways that are phenomenal if you truly live by it, if you truly involve it in your daily life. All right, so this is my hope in this video. My intention is to really convey to you why this process works, how it works in the most simplest way so that you feel empowered. So let's go. So we are back on a drawing board and I want to break down the five step process. And if you haven't watched the video, I strongly encourage you to pause this video to first go watch those five steps video of how to feel it real, which will show up somewhere. And then to come back here to understand this process. This little diagram very simply represent the mind and the body, all right? We have the conscious mind here, we have the subconscious mind here, and we have the body here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down the five-step process and what it does in your mind, in your body, in your energy, and why it's creating and manifesting the things that you want in your life. So the first thing that we do, the first step is to relax your body. All right, you're creating this state akin to sleep, the state of relaxation that allow you to go into a state that is suggestible. So when you relax and you slow down your brain waves, science has shown us that we become more suggestible to new information. What does that mean? It means that if this is the barrier between your conscious and subconscious mind, okay, it's almost like we are taking this barrier out of the way and we are like opening a door to your subconscious mind so that what you envision here consciously can slip in your subconscious mind with ease and faster. Okay, so that's why creating this state of relaxation is so critical in really 10xing the benefits of your session. So always start your manifestation session or goal achieving session or any form of personal development session by relaxing because relaxing alone can bring tremendous benefits to you, all right? So that's the first step. That's why we do it. We create a brainwave that puts us in a trend state where we become more suggestible. Then step number two is something that I added, is the quick heart brain coherence, okay? And I explained in the video that all you do is breathing through your heart and so on. I actually recently released a long breakdown way of explaining why this process of heart brain coherence is so powerful so you can also go and watch that video if you want a full breakdown of that but really basically what it comes down to this heart brain coherence and what is so important is because research science has shown us that your brain and your heart both create and generate an electromagnetic field okay and we also know now that your heart has over 40,000 neurons so there is an intelligence, it's able to think independently of your brain. And we also know that your heart generates a field that is much, much greater than the brain. So there's tremendous creative power in your heart. So what we do here with this quick coherence is that once we go in a trance, now what we do is that we are aligning and synchronizing and creating coherence between the heart and the brain so that information can also circulate faster, but that's so that we are also in this creative, powerful state of coherence, which will also allow us to be congruent and 
to create and manifest faster with the mind and the body being aligned, working together. So if you want a full breakdown of this, go watch that video. All right, so that is step number two. And then step number three is we start to visualize. We start to imagine. We use the powerful creative force of our imagination here in our conscious mind to imagine whatever it is that we want to create, whatever it is that we want to have, whatever it is we want to do and possess. So we look at the experience through our own eyes. We are in the experience. We are doing it. It is done. We are enjoying the result. Okay. And this is really where we are in the wish fulfilled. So we are creating a scene that represents we already have, already are being whatever it is that you want to create in your life. So recently what I did is that I wanted to go on holiday and there was this really cool five-star hotel that was colonial style, that was built 200 years ago. It was a beautiful place. Problem, it was way over budget. It was actually very expensive. And so there was a bit of a conflict there because I really wanted to go to that five-star hotel, but it was a bit expensive. So what I started to do is I started to go in this state okay, of relaxation, hard brain coherence, and I started to see myself in that room, walking around, feeling the mattress, how comfortable it is, going to the bathroom, seeing everything, touching this and that, and really immersing myself and as many senses as I could, as vividly as I could. And it wasn't like crystal clear, because, but it was clear enough in my mind that I was already there during my holiday enjoying that hotel. And that's what I did, okay? And I will tell you the rest of the story very soon. Now, once you do step number three and you see it in your mind, what you want to do in step number four is you want to repeat this, that scene as many times as you can. Because what we want to do now is that we want to feel it real in your body here. We want to have the same feeling here in your body that is done. All right, so this positive feeling, whether it's gratitude, whether it's joy, whether you feel calm, euphoric, you get the gist. And this is so important, step four. Why is it important? Because the moment you feel it in your body, it means that your subconscious mind has grabbed it. It means that your subconscious mind also has it. Why is that? Because who's running your body? Who's generating emotion, who's releasing all those chemical sensations that creates the emotion of how you feel in your body. It's not you. You're not the doer of that. What you're doing is you put a mental picture here. And then your subconscious mind takes it on. And the moment your subconscious mind is there, and it doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination, it creates the feeling. So now the subconscious mind is in the experience. That means it's taking that information on board. And if you can feel it in your body, you know it's in your subconscious mind. So then all you have to do is to repeat that and to really condition yourself over time and intensity to create that pattern in your subconscious mind so that eventually it goes and manifests in your result. Then we go into step number five, which is just letting go. We release that at the end of our session and we don't worry about how it's going to come. We don't worry about who's going to bring it. We don't worry about all this kind of you know, stuff that is conscious blabber, that is not useful, that is not your job. We simply surrender it. We know that our job is done and that our intuition, the idea, the people, the, the way, the how, the strategy, everything we need will come to us in order for us to do and get that result. And this is step five is so important because if you hold that resistance here, what you're doing is that you're imagining that you don't have what you want. And then you try to control, you try to manipulate, you're trying to predict. And once you're in that state, you're in a state of lack. So what you're putting in your subconscious mind here is that I don't have it. I want it, but I don't have it. All right, so that's why step number five is to release it and then to go back doing this fittest real process, step one to five, as many times as needed for you to fully feel like it's done and I know it's going to happen. Come back to my story of my holiday. 
I did this process for about seven days, nothing happened. The price was still there, I was starting to, you know, doubt a little bit, but I remained focused to this image and I was like, I'm going there. And then, lo and behold, I went back on agoda.com and it was a special 50% off last price deal, blah, 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 in the exact room that I wanted. And we got it and we went there and as you can see on the photos, it was beautiful and it was amazing. So it happened how, I had no idea how it was going to happen. But the universe or God made it cheaper in a way that was perfect, exactly what I wanted to pay, boom, 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 next thing you know, I'm packed and I'm there. So this process works if you believe in the power of your mind and to, po to believe in the power of your mind, you need to understand how your mind works. Because this is not just wishful thinking, oh, I wish kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. No, this freaking works. But you have to commit to understand and to live by this, to understand why things work. And that this is your greatest power. And just like any superhero, you need to become better at using your power. Because as Spider-Man would say, or Uncle Ben would say, With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> So we all have great power, but we misuse it because we're not disciplined. So we let our imagination run crazy, run wild, create all kinds of worst case scenario. We get stressed out, we get anxious, and then we start to control things because we feel like I am in control and I need my outcome and I want blah, blah, blah. And that puts so much stress in the body. And then we keep on struggling to manifest what we want because our mind is not disciplined, our imagination is not disciplined, and our attention is not disciplined. And I get it, it's okay, it's a process. You can take it from where you are and you can get better 1% a day, a little bit every day, you get better and you start to see the result. But you need to understand the power of your creative power. And if you look at Luke in Star Wars, he, had, he was strong with the Force. But he couldn't do shit with the force until he learned over and over and over until he was trained in the way of the force and until he was ready to become a Jedi master. So same with Spider-Man when he has to learn about his skills. It's the same for us. We have to harness the power of our mind. We have to get better at it. We have to practice. And with evidence came more belief. And if you can align your mind and commit to this feel it real practice, everything is possible for you. So beware of the dark side. And what is the dark side? The dark side is letting this, the world around you, conditioning what you see in your imagination with the inflection, with the war, with the politics, with the drama, with all the bad news, with all that garbage that they try to tell you here that you're weak, that you're poor, that you're this, that you're that. You have to be really careful what other people are telling you to freaking imagine it because then you start to feel it. And then you start to leave it. And that is the dark side when we go unconscious of who we truly are, powerful creators. So I invite you in this video, guys, to truly commit to live by this and to not just listen, but to be doers of the words. Let me know what you think down in the comment, guys. I will see you next time. Like, share, subscribe this video if you like it. And I will see you next time. Be well.